guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of everything that I got in my March Boxy Charm and also show you a sneak preview of what I will be reviewing this month and what is in my April Boxy Charm. I am doing my unboxings a little bit differently just because I saw one of my favorite people on YouTube do it this way, Jen Loves Reviews. If you have not heard of her, she's an amazing, amazing person. I'll leave her channel down below. She has no clue who I am or that I'm doing this. I just really, really loved the style in which she's doing her unboxings now. I am do starting to do that format for Boxy Charm and Glossy Box. So, like I said, I'm going to be going through the products that I got in my March Boxy Charm a little bit more in depth, and then show you a preview of what came in my Boxy Charm this month for April. So, without further ado, let's just get into this video. Okay, so last month in my March Boxy Charm, it was one of the best boxy charms that I've ever had. Boxy charm usually never disappoints me, but last month was amazing, you guys. The first two things that I am going to be talking about, the Morphe eyeshadows that I received in my box and they came in pans. These are the two shadows that I got in my boxy charm and this pink one right here is in Cupcake and I'm actually wearing it all over just I did a simple look today just with one color. It's super, super pretty. I love the pigmentation of it, but it still gives a super natural look, which I really, really like. And then secondly, this is their Duo Chrome Eyeshadow in Ritzy, and I love this shadow, you guys. I love the pink one just because it's natural, but I love this one even more because it is so nice. It blends out so easily. It's so pigmented. I love it so much. So gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to play around with these a little bit more, but I am obsessed with these. Really excited about those and so happy that I was able to get those in my box. The next thing that I received in my box last month, this is a Luxie brush, and this is their 512 Small Contouring Brush. I have been loving this brush. I've been using it every day to do my highlights, so I'm not wearing any today. I love this brush. It is perfect size for my face, at least, to do my highlight, and I, like I said, I am obsessed with this, and I love Luxie brushes. I have a couple more of them, and I just... I've loved all of them so far, and of course, I love the pink. The next thing that I got was a scent by Catherine Malandrino, and this was in Style de Paris, and I love this scent, you guys. It is the perfect scent for the days that I'm going to school because it stays on me for so long. I bring this in my purse with me just in case for touch-ups and stuff. Um, like yesterday, I went to school, and then right after school, I went to my boyfriend's house after being at school for four hours. And then I went to my boyfriend's house. This stayed on me all day. I only had to retouch it up once. It smells so good, you guys. I am wearing it right now. And like I said, I'm just obsessed with this. It's the perfect set. It's sweetness, fruitiness, and florally all in one. And it just smells so good. So I'm really happy to have this. And I love how it's in a bigger size sample than just like the regular little spray bottles. So it's almost like a rollerball, but it's better because it's in a sprayer. I'm actually almost done with it. I'm like already halfway done with it, which makes me really sad. But I love that. So that just tells you how much I love it. And lastly, of course I love it, right? Because it's a pattern. I am obsessed with this, you guys. I have tried so many brow products, and not all of them have been the best, but this is the Chella Eyebrow Pencil in Tantalizing Taupe, and it is what I am wearing on my brows today. I am obsessed with this. What I've been doing lately is I will use this to fill in my brows and all that good stuff and then to stick them down I've been using my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel so I have been loving that combo I love this so 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 much it is amazing I have really horrible tiny 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 
brows so it makes it super super easy to get super precise lines that you want and again I always am a sucker for this kind of packaging and look how much is in there like that is crazy amount of product so really really excited that there's that much in there because I'm obsessed with it and I don't want it to die anytime soon so love this to death so that is all that came in my BoxyCharm last month and now I am super super excited. I wasn't even going to film today but then I went and checked my mailbox and my BoxyCharm for this month which is April was there. So I am super super excited to give you guys a little sneak peek of what is in this month's box and what I will be reviewing in next month's video. Okay, so the first thing that makes me really, really happy, they listened to all of us complaining last month and they put the products and the prices back on the cards. So really, really excited about that. So the first thing in the box this month is a huge product. This is by Anderson Lilly and this is their number five Manhattan Beach hand cream. First thing that I'm noticing is this is a huge bottle of hand cream. Like, that is pretty crazy. So, I think I'm going to be good for a while. Let's try it out. Ugh. Don't you just hate when you go to try something and then there's one of those, like, stopper thingies on them? Makes me so annoyed. Okay, so it's coming out really, really difficult. So, that means it's really, really thick. So, I'm scared to put too much on. The first thing I'm noticing is the smell. And I'm not sure if I like it at first glance. So I'm not going to go too far into it obviously because it's just a quick little unboxing but first at uh, first impressions of it it feels really good. It is really really thick and greasy so mm. and like I said not sure about the smell yet but I will update you in next month's video and that is a full size and it retails for $24. The next thing is an Ofra long lasting lipstick and this is in Pasadena which Ooh, that is pretty. That is pretty. Really, really dark for me, um, but that's what it looks like. And Ofra is a really, really amazing brand, so really, really excited for this. This retails for $19.90, so that is awesome. The next thing in the box, this is by a familiar brand. Um, it was their tubular mascara, and I still haven't completely tried it yet, but this is by the same brand, and this is their... This is their Black Lash Primer, so I am so excited because I don't have too many primers, and this one's black, so it's going to make your lashes even more voluminous, which is really, really awesome because I actually forgot to put on mascara today, if you haven't noticed. My lashes are really, really sad looking, so really, really excited. And this retails for $26, which is awesome. So again, I'm really, really excited to test this out with the mascara. Okay, so the next thing is by Your Cosmetics. And this is a eyeshadow. And this is in the color Brown Hypnotic. And I'm really, really excited because I don't have too many eyeshadows like this. A powder one. And it has a sifter in it. And then it's kind of like a... And you pour in there and then you put it on your eyes. So these can make a little bit of a mess, but it has sifters, so it should be fine. Really, really excited for that. And this retails for $21. And one last thing in the box this month, this is by Pure Lease, which is a super, super good brand. I have loved pretty much everything that I've tried from them. This is the Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher. It says, with mango and shea butter. And I love this because I also like just ran out of my lip balm. So really, really excited. And it smells really, really good right off the bat. Just from smelling it in the tube, I can smell the mangoes. Really excited. And this retails for $16. So that is amazing. I am so excited. That is everything that came in April's box. I am really, really excited to try out all these products. All five products were full size and come back next month and show you guys a little more in depth just like I did today. So if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like this 
way that I'm doing it or if you think that I should go back to the old way. Just so I know because I'm still trying to get into the swing of things with this format. So yeah, I hope that you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!